Today feels like it should be the most exciting day of this van conversion so far. Someone passed me a shotgun. A bird's just shat on my cladding. I've just painted. Look at this. What the f***? No. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. So if you saw the last video, you will have seen that I insulated and vapor barriered the ceiling. We've got some electrical cables coming down for the lights. All of this tape that is hanging off is because I stayed in the van on the weekend at a friend's house uh, and it's just falling off so I need to stick that back on. That is anyway showing me where the battens are where I'm going to screw the cladding in. I've got a friend coming over shortly to help me get this cladding up because I think it's going to be a much, much easier job with two people, one person holding one end and the other person holding the other. But first of all, let me show you the cladding that I've got, the dimensions of it and all that fun stuff. So this is the cladding that I'm going to be using. It's tongue and groove. I bought it from uh, Wix. It's eight millimeters thick. Uh, I know some people go a little bit thicker, but again, I was thinking about weight and also Lou from Camper Vibe. I think she used eight millimeter. And as I told you in a previous video, I'm just copying her. So thanks Lou for the advice. One thing I didn't notice, but my dad noticed was that one side of this cladding is already sanded I think and the other side isn't sanded this side is actually sanded this one isn't because it's a little bit rougher which means I'm not going to bother sanding uh, the cladding at all because it's just a time waste I'm just going to easily hopefully anyway stain one side of it and it should give a nice finish the color that I'm going for is a warm oak this again is from Wix. I can't remember how much it cost or anything like that. I'll put a link in the description and all that stuff. The first job after I've removed the bed is I'm actually gonna put one piece up, mark out where the holes are and pre-drill pretty much everything before I put it up. Oh, one thing that I didn't mention is my van is a medium wheelbase and this cladding is exactly three meters long. It is pretty much the entire length of the van, which is perfect. I think I'll probably have to cut I don't know 30 centimeters or something like that off but it's ideal because you're not really going to have to do too much cutting and I can have one long straight piece you mark it because you, you know where they sit right. <laughs> I'm going to push this as far back as it goes so it's faster yeah. Yeah. okay so what we've done is we lined all of the uh, the tongue groove cladding up and we've now used our first template which we lined up to the ceiling and we've marked all of our screw holes. So all of them should sit pretty bang on in a straight line, very similar to each other. Now we're gonna take a drill and pre-drill through each piece of cladding because this obviously stops the wood from cracking. And then after that, I'm gonna take this countersink drill bit so that the screw sits slightly underneath the piece of wood so that no screws are sticking out uh, above the cladding. So we'll crack on with that and then this should be a pretty quick process and then we can stain with it. Okie dokie, we are all pre-drilled, we are all countersunk and now is the time for the fun part or maybe the messy part i'm gonna put this wood stain on as i said a warm oak color on the back of it it says that it can take up to 16 to 24 hours to recoat i'm gonna be putting two layers of it on this as hopefully well to be honest that's what it says on the back here so we'll see how that goes we'll crack on with that we'll play some funky music we'll do a time lapse and crack on with staining this wood Ooh. So it feels like I'm saying this in every video, but honestly, it couldn't be any more true. Absolutely everything on a van build takes 100 times longer than you imagine. We've done one coat of the wood stain, and I was hoping, to be honest, to whack the second coat on and even put a coat on the underside. However, I'm off to Scotland on Wednesday, 
and the first coat still isn't dry it's still a bit tacky and sticky and if I was to put the second coat on straight away right now it would probably rip the old stain off and it just wouldn't look very good so I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to crack on and do the second coat and I don't think I'm gonna have time to even put on the coat underneath anyway it all feels a bit manic a bit last minute because I really want to get this cladding up and finished before I head to Scotland and that weather really doesn't help the drying time of all of this because it means I can't stick it outside in the sun. Ah, someone passed me a shotgun. A bird's just shat on my cladding. I've just painted. <laughs> Look at this. What the fuck? Yeah. No. No, oh my god. Hey. Carpet bomb, mate. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> fucking hell. Give it all... <laughs> I've got fucking bird shit on my new cladding. It's actually in the screw hole as well. Look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's why you need to get a brush. There's bird shit everywhere. Don't go too hard because we can brush those bits off well. Yeah, with but it's poo! With the brush. Now we're going to have to go over the whole thing again. Go it's lightly, go really lightly. You've seen the tongue and groove bit. My van's going to stink as shit. <laughs> it will anyway, you're right. Yeah, let's face it, mate. <laughs> a little portaloo. You can port a potty. Anyway. Now I'm stressed. <laughs> Funny, is it? Yeah? Only this would happen to you. That's it. My God! Ah! No! He creates his own problems and then solves them. <laughs> oh, that noise! Ay, 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 ay. Where to begin, or perhaps where to end this video? I feel like I am losing the will, literally with this van build. I'm gonna try and explain this to you about the process of this tongue and groove cladding, how it went, why it's failed, why it was a disaster, and why I'm probably coming across like an absolute lunatic. So, as you saw yesterday or in this video still, I had a friend come over and we pre-drilled the holes where the cladding was gonna be screwed into the battens which I've put on the ceiling. That was all fine, that went absolutely smooth sailing. We then put one coat of the warm oak color on the cladding and left it to dry and then came back this morning to put on a second layer. And then as you saw, the birds or the pigeons shat all over it, which I thought was meant to be good luck, but perhaps it really isn't. Anyway, I left the cladding out all day in the sun to dry and it dried pretty quickly. And then I thought, right, I really, really, really want to get this cladding up before I head off to Scotland tomorrow so that I can put the lights in and actually start having a bit more of a functional van. However, we, I, quickly realised that because we had painted the tongue and the groove of the cladding, it made it bloody fucking difficult to get the cladding to clip into one another. So for example, the cladding here, because we had painted the tongue and the groove that sits inside the opposite piece, it obviously has an extra couple of mil of friction and stickiness from the stain that it makes it a right pain in the ass to put up. I also realized after we managed to put two pieces up that I hated the color. I know, call me bonkers, I must be bonkers. I just realized the color is not nice. It looks, my friends were taking the piss saying it looks like a bloody wooden boat. And it does. My idea in my head was to have a nice dark ceiling and then a white wall to, I don't know, just have a nice contrast, but it looks a bit gingery orange. Not that there's anything wrong with gingers. Sorry, Wheeler, that's my friend that helped me today. But I just realized I'm just not a fan of the color and I'm rushing this just to try and get it up before I head off on my travels because I was so adamant that all I wanted to do was get it up and then go. But it's just not the way to do it, to try and rush it, to try and do a bodge job and not do it properly. I just, ah, I feel very frustrated, a bit deflated, demotivated, as I said. Seriously, like I've lost the will at the moment. As you can see here, 
we did actually get one piece up however I didn't have the right size uh, hole saw bit for the light so this one here is actually smaller and I had to use a file to shave off a bit more wood to get it to fit in the second one I thought oh I'll try and use a slightly bigger hole saw it's absolutely far too big so the light doesn't even stay in place so everything from the color to putting it up to trying to get it to clip into place to trying to put the lights in has gone so wrong and now I'm just feeling mad. <clears throat> I really don't know what to say anymore I know I keep apologizing in these videos for them not being very good or productive or crap or entertaining I just don't want to rush this process I've realized I don't like the color so we're gonna go off to Scotland in a very very basic van I feel annoyed because you know, it's been two, three weeks since I've come back from my last trip and I was really in my head hoping that I could do and accomplish a lot of the jobs in this van. But yet again, as I always say, everything just takes a lot longer than you expect. You see what I mean about this gingerish orange glow? I don't know, that's just not for me, I don't think. Initially what we tried to do was we put this first piece up there and then we tried to slide in a second piece while the cladding was still on the, uh, on the ceiling. But it was just impossible because the stain has obviously added a few extra bits of millimeters inside the tongue and groove we just couldn't clip it in so what we were doing was laying it on the floor and trying to put it all in one piece on the floor and then i was going to put it up on the ceiling but that was when i was like and my friend said as well will this color is just disgusting ah! i've wasted two to three days of my time a couple of my friends time I've also wasted a fair bit of money on this cladding, on the paint. Jesus. But hey ho, life goes on when I come back from my trip. We'll try and progress a bit more on the van. I feel like I've been under a lot of pressure recently with a lot of other things apart from this van. Just the stress of YouTube, believe it or not, there is a lot of pressure to it of trying to make content and release videos. There's so much behind the scenes that goes on in terms of emails and in, in terms of trying to advertise things and sponsorships and this and that and trying to push forward with making videos and doing the van i know i sound like i'm complaining a lot and i'm really not meaning to i'm just trying to be real as i always am on this channel you're never going to get any fake bullshit or anything this is me up and down like a freaking yo-yo at the moment hopefully this trip will sort me out a bit and uh i don't know Give me a bit of peace of mind and then when I come back, I'll link up with Dan, the guy who helped me in a previous video with the van build. And I'm sure we'll be able to smash out a few jobs on here. It's just a shame I couldn't get the cladding and the lighting done before I head off. I am going to film when I'm in Scotland in this basic van setup. We are going to have fun. We are going to have a laugh. We are going to go on some epic adventures. We are going to see some amazing drone shots. I will film that trip because to be honest, that's when I'm happiest, surrounded by new people. I'm going there with Charlie and Lauren, who I met at the Camp Creator event. And we're just going to cruise around and make some videos, make some memories and have a laugh and some adventures. And then after that, we'll come back and try and progress a bit more on the van build. Sorry guys for the odd, random, peculiar video yet again, the cladding fail. But it is what it is. As I said, with me, I'm never going to fake anything just because that's not in my character. This is how it is sometimes. Things just don't go to plan. Anyway, I'm chatting a load of rubbish now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not even gonna say to subscribe because this video is not even worth it. But do follow me on Instagram because I'll be in Scotland probably by the time you watch this. Thank you guys so much for watching. There will be more van build videos. There will be more adventures. There will be a more smiley, happy will. But such is life. Right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.